If you're in a repeat job industry like lawn or garden care, pool care, cleaning, property maintenance, fire protection or pest control, ServiceMate has add-ons which can simplify how you manage these recurring jobs for the same clients. This means you can create a job once and set it to automatically recreate and schedule itself at set intervals like every day, week, month or year. Alternatively, if the future job isn't confirmed, you can set a reminder to review a normal completed job in up to 12 months time. Let's look at two add-ons which help in this space, simple recurring jobs and recurring jobs and reminders. First, we'll cover the simple recurring jobs add-on and it's just how it sounds. Activate the add-on and in a normal job card, click here and set the job to repeat once every one, two, three or four weeks. As soon as the job's completed, it will replicate into a new job and schedule itself to the same day, time and staff member on the time frame you've set. This recurrent setting will then carry over to each subsequent job. So, if you just want to be able to take a normal job and set it to schedule itself to the same time and staff member every week or so, use the simple recurring jobs add-on. If you need a more flexible solution for scheduling, or you prefer to review certain jobs before another booking is made, check out the Recurring Jobs and Reminders add-on. Activating this will give you the option to create a new recurring job. You only set this up once per client, such as when you get a new client on board and they want to start a recurring service. First, search and add the customer. We can then set a job template this job will use every time it recreates itself. Job templates are just like they sound. They're preset templates of job cards with pre-filled job descriptions, checklists and items. By creating a job template for each type of recurring job you need to schedule, ServiceMate can pre-fill job cards when they're automatically created. This helps you save time and provide staff with clear, consistent instructions for every job. To create new templates, go to Settings, then Job Templates. Here, you can decide whether future visits will be automatically scheduled or arrive in your ServiceMate inbox as a reminder with the booking to be confirmed. So, if it's a frequent service and you want the job to automatically book itself for the same day, time and staff member, select Job should be automatically scheduled. Set the time of day the job's duration and the staff member or staff members if it's a multi-person kind of job. For the job description, you can leave this blank if your job template already has a description. Lastly, set your recurrence pattern. Click here for finer control around exactly when the recurring job will be scheduled in future. If you want to automatically schedule the job, but the time of day you do it is flexible, activate the Job Allocations add-on. You'll then be able to select Job should be automatically allocated. And instead of setting a fixed time of day, you'll be able to choose from customizable allocation windows, such as morning, afternoon, or just during business hours. When you're done, you can see the cadence of when the job will be scheduled over time. Once you save one, after a while it'll start to look more like this, where you can see past, imminent and future jobs. Click the job number to open past or current jobs, or right click for quick actions. You'll notice future jobs are in yellow and don't have a job number. This is because they haven't activated yet, meaning it will show a placeholder in the schedule, but it doesn't have a job number or job card yet. This keeps things simple and avoids you creating job cards months or years before you actually need them because things change. Recurring jobs are activated a set time before their booking date. Go to recurring jobs in your preferences menu and you can adjust how many weeks before their booking date they'll activate. If needed, you can manually activate a future booking ahead of time. Simply double click or right click you can cancel one here too if you need to skip a future visit. In staff schedules, you'll see future unactivated bookings in yellow. 
You can also identify recurring jobs by this icon and hover to see its recurrence pattern. To activate it manually, double click, then click here. Once activated, if you need to change the date or time, you can choose to make this a one-off change for this visit only, or a permanent change to this recurring job scheduling. Now, let's talk about recurring services on a longer time frame, where it might be three, six, or 12 months between visits. For these kinds of jobs, the return date isn't always set in stone, so it might not be appropriate to automatically reschedule the job. In this kind of scenario, select Reminder should arrive in Inbox. And when the time comes, the reminder will land in your service made inbox, according to your settings, so you can follow up with the client to see if they want another service. With the recurring jobs and reminders add-on, you'll also get a new recurring jobs tab in your dispatch board, where you can review all your recurring jobs. Double click to open a recurring job and view its past, in progress and future bookings. Alternatively, you can open a recurring job setting straight from a related job card. Just click here. Lastly, for jobs you want to follow up in future, you can set reminders. Reminders don't require you to set up a new recurring job. You can just set a reminder from a standard job card. This is useful for one-off jobs where future bookings are recommended but not confirmed, such as an inspection or maintenance service where you want to follow up with the client in six or 12 months or jobs where you'd just like a reminder to check in with the client in a few months time. For example, let's say you've just completed a service for a new client and it's something they should get done once a year. To set a reminder in the job card, you can apply a reminder badge. This will trigger a reminder to arrive in your service made inbox up to 12 months after the job is completed. Be sure to apply the badge before updating the job status to completed. A good tip here is to apply the badge in your job templates, so you don't forget. Once applied and the job's completed, you can see the scheduled reminder in your recurring jobs tab. And when the time is up, it will appear in your inbox so you can follow up with the client. These badges can also be applied to a job card in the ServiceMate app.